Hi everyone, thanks again for joining me on My Life on a Hill. My name is Tracy. Uh, today I want to show you a real inexpensive way to um, have chair covers at your um, venue and if it's getting real costly and you realize, oh my gosh, I didn't even pay for chair covers, what am I going to do? And I ran out of budget. Anyways, that's what happened to me on our wedding day. We budget for everything else and when we realize we don't have chair covers. Budget, money, done. What did we do? We went downtown, bought a whole, um, the bulk cloth, and I cut them. I realized the size of chair, like for example, use your standard um, dining room chair, and you measure over that, and basically you cut a rectangle. And I had, at the time, a little handheld sewing machine, and I just flipped it. Because nobody's going to be dissecting your stuff, okay? Oh my God, look at these chair covers. I flipped it, and then you have one part that's already like this. So, And I just sat on my little handheld sewing machine, and I sewed my chair covers. Now I'm going to show you some quick little design or decorations you could do with it on your chair. Okay, that's not a ghost. That's my chair. Now I just threw it over, and I positioned it on the side that it has, you know, equal... Um, cloth in the back and in the front. Now remember, this is a, my dining room chair, so most uh, venue chairs are not this big, so I'll be able to hang a lot better. So what I'm gonna do is just to show you, is one that you just throw over, it doesn't fit the chair. And most people might want those, but this did the job for me, guys. Um, I had over, almost close to 300 guests. Imagine chair covers like at 150 per chair covers, and then don't forget the bow. So, I did, my husband and I did like, I got to over 200 of these and we tied the bow. So I'll just give you some little quick little tips that you could do to make your own bows. So I just went ahead and I took my tool. I measured the length of the chair and to see what I want to hang on the bottom. And I just made a knot, simple as that. Now let me go ahead and show you the front. Uh, that's the front and again this is more of a wider chair so just keep that in mind so let me go ahead and show you uh, maybe two different things you could do with your bow this is another one a basic bow now you can make your bow really big um, and make it hang a lot longer so you could do so much with this all you need is a few of your friends come and do this for you because I'm telling you you can't do it by yourself and we have a butterfly the butterfly I did get from the 99 cent store and they were 99 cents so that might be a little bit expensive in terms of you know how many people you're getting like a hundred chairs times um, 99 cents but you could probably find a bulk place that sells them for a lot cheaper than that so you could buy them more that's pretty I like that one I like this one because um, if you want, you could do this a certain way where your guests also could, this could be their keepsake. So you could put something around it where it symbolizes your wedding and that could be their keepsake. So it's killing two birds with one stone. Okay, this is another one and it's just rhinestone you could buy the rhinestone by the sheets and just wrap it around the bow i'm sorry the light's kind of dull so it's not really showing the real prettiness of the bling bling but you get the idea right anyways guys these are just some inexpensive ideas that you could do for your event and again you could take these um like the brooch and even this and that'd be some part of your keepsake somehow um, I could probably try to make that another show. But anyways, this is just some quick tips if your wedding is getting costly and you forgot to chair covers. Thanks uh, for viewing. Thanks for subscribing. You guys have a wonderful day.